Okay, hey, so there is this story that has been trending for the past one week where France has decided to come to Africa to one of the islands that they still hold hostage and decided to evict the islanders, the Africans who live on that island from their own ancestral island by calling them delinquents because they live in slums on those islands and that the operation is to clean that island to make it safe for tourists who come from as far as France to that island in the Indian Ocean. Now, I want you to listen to this clip before I continue. Thousands of kilometers away from mainland France on the overseas territory of Mayotte, a controversial operation to expel illegal migrants is underway. Almost 2,000 police officers have been brought in to beef up security forces on the island. France says it aims to expel at least 10,000 people. It says they'll be taken to Anjouan, one of the islands that makes up the Comoros, some 70 kilometers away. So the story is that France has sent 2,000 police officers to carry out what we can call apartheid here on an island off the coast of Mozambique in the Indian Ocean. Now, the island in question is called Mayotte. And if you can go and Google, you'll find a lot of information about this island. And it's in between uh, the island, the larger island of Madagascar, which we can say is even a continent, and Mozambique, which is the country on the African continent. So Mayotte is also in the neighborhood of other four islands, part of one country called the Comoros. Now, the Comoros today is made up of several islands, the larger ones being uh, the island of the Comoros, also known as Gazija, the island of Fomboni, and the island of Mutsamudu. Now, uh, the reason why Mayotte, which is a, third, a fourth island there, is not part of the Comoros is because uh, France colonized these four islands from 1840. And in 1974, they had a referendum for independence, but there was a problem. France refused to give up one island, and this is the island of Mayotte. The reason was because when they were colonizing these four of them, Mayotte was the headquarter. So they constructed some nice buildings and governor's residential houses. The other thing is that some French people left France and came and settled there, and bought plantations. So they didn't want to be part of an African or under the leadership of an African president. So they told France to refuse to give up this island. Now, fast forward to today, we have this operation where about 2,000 French police have been deployed from France, you know, from Paris, and taken to this island to help remove the people they are calling the delinquents unwanted people. So this the, the island, Mayotte, is, has a population of about 350,000 people. That is today. And less than half of those people have the French citizenship or French passports. The other half is what France is calling the delinquents, the illegals, the undocumented. And they are saying in this article here, is that they have this operation. France recently launched an operation they called uh, Wambushu, also known as, uh, meaning to take back, deploying about 1,800 members of the security forces to remove illegal migrants who have settled in slums on the island, that is Mayotte. Most of these people are from neighboring Comoros. Now, first of all, you need to take... Uh, interest in some few words here. What do they mean by the operation take back? Take back what? Shouldn't the locals be the one having that kind of an operation to take back their island, their ancestors' island? Because France doesn't own that island. They never did, of course, not until 1840 when they were doing their colonization. So why would France want to take back their someone else's island? What are they taking back? That is one. Two, the fact that someone comes from the Comoros shouldn't be called an illegal migrant to 
my yacht. Why? Because for generations, these people here are fishermen and, you know, basically sailors. And definitely they had relatives on all four islands and beyond. So if you are born on the Comoros, but you have an uncle or a grandfather on my yacht, does that mean you don't belong to my yacht? Because that's where, you know, your people are. If someone on the Comoros marries a, a beautiful girl, like these girls here, they're from the Comoros, as they're from my yacht. So if you marry, if you're from the Comoros and you marry one of these, and let alone you have kids, are those kids not supposed to go to my yacht where their mother came from? We're not dogs, we're not animals. She has just refused an offer to be relocated. Housing for three months. Three months with seven children. Seven kids and my husband is French. So that is some of the things that France doesn't want to talk about. But the truth of the matter is, France wants to remove these people who they call illegal migrants because they suspect they came from the Comoros. When, in actual sense, Mayotte belongs to the Comoros. It's part of these four larger islands of the Comoros. So it's France that should leave this place. But they don't want to talk about that. Now, let's continue reading what they are saying. Their operation is purportedly as part of its fight against delinquency and unsanitary housing. Crime is rampant on the island, which is France's poorest department. Now, also note that France doesn't even consider this island um, their own territory. They call it an overseas department. I don't know what it means to call uh, an island an overseas department. Is it a fire station department? Is it a prison department? What is it? Why do you call Mayot an overseas department? Now, they are saying that the people who live in the slums are the ones who should be kicked out. They are trying to assume that no one from Mayot who, should, who could live in a, in a slum. Because people who live in the slum are people who basically we call them uh, low-income kind of settlement. People who are poor, almost homeless, right? And so they're trying to tell us if you are a person who, are born, who was born legally on my yacht, you can't become poor. And the only way you can be poor is if you left the Comoros. Now, that is a lie. So they have divided the people on this island into three ethnic groups. So they're saying if you are born on the island of Mayotte or you have a grandfather or a grandmother, they call you Amahoran. But if you recently arrived to that island in the last few decades or one generation, they call you a Comorian by saying that you just came from the island of Comoros or the Comoros island. And the third group, which is about 3% of the island, is now the French people, the white people from Europe. So they have three groups. This operation is to dismantle a shanty town and restore order. There are slums in Mayotte with no water or electricity, with babies and elderly, and we can't have that in France. People are there illegally, and we're going to deport them as we should. 